watch your reach of young boys. Can you talk about your experience as a major league ball player? Uh, my experiences were were really uh, up and down, you know, because and it wasn't anything racial, you know, that wasn't the, the struggle for me. It was opportunity to play, you know, and, and getting sent down and uh, back and forth up and down in the big leagues. But I, I think the best thing about baseball, if you have talent and you're willing to work, opportunity is going to come. Mm -hmm. And so when I look back on my major league career, the opportunities opened up mm -hmm. and I was able to seize that moment. But the biggest thing I look back on uh, that I shared a little bit was being able to pass it on. I remember taking ground balls with Julio Cruz, who was at the time the Mariners second base, and ended up being a white sock in the playoffs. But Julio taught me how to break in my glove. He showed me the bats I need to swing. Look, kid, that bat's too big for you. Yeah. You know, this is my first major league spring training. Here's a guy that I'm looking at someday. I'm going to take his job, and he's telling me how to turn my pivot, and here's the glove you need to use. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and hopefully that's still going on in baseball. Mm -hmm. And to me, I look back at it. That was something that was passed to me, and the only thing Julio said to me was pass it on to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So that's what I tried to do. When we look at the decline of African-American baseball, so you're here for the Civil Rights game and a spokesman. Do you consider yourself a pioneer for the future of African-American ball players? Maybe not a pioneer, but I'm definitely a spokesman. You know, I look at it that way. I look at the pioneers, I guess, for me, were all those men, Hank Aaron, Frank Robinson, those guys that came ahead of me. But for this generation, uh, I clearly understand where I sit mm -hmm. as a role model and as a door opener, mm -hmm. you know, where I'm on TV every day. I've, mm -hmm. I play Major League Baseball. I get to talk about the game, and I get mm -hmm. to speak into people's lives. So I don't take that lightly, mm -hmm. and, and I appreciate the opportunity that God's given me to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I coach college baseball, and I scouted for five Major League teams. And I find when you talk about the decline of African-American ballplayers, they're not being given opportunity at the collegiate level. And that's kind of like the minor league system for the major leaguers. So how do we change that? Well, we got to change it uh, two things for me. Philosophy and teams that draft the players. I think we lost for about 15 years with the mindset of, I'm going to draft only college players. Well, we lost the African-American ball player. You know, because you look at, I did the College World Series, I was saying earlier, for nine years, I can tell you. I probably had about nine, maybe ten black kids play in the College World Series. So if that's a reflection of the draft, clearly you're not going to be drafting any kids. So one, uh, our youth baseball is getting better. You're seeing a lot more kids getting drafted out of high school. But we have to do something mm -hmm. with the mindset of not drafting kids out of college. That's mm -hmm. got to open. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking about and hoping I am able to do is a lot of times the draft has come and then you have workouts. And I want to be able to bring as many black kids, African-American kids together and give them a personal tryout because they may not get that opportunity. A lot of times what happens is people are afraid to go to their neighborhoods, mm -hmm. but they're not afraid to go to somebody else's. So if they need to go somewhere else to be seen, I want to provide that vehicle. Mm -hmm. So when will we see Earl Reynolds managing in the big <laughs> Oh, I, I don't think you'll be seeing that. Not anytime soon. Uh, I enjoy my job. And I feel like I manage 30 teams every night. Yeah. So that's the fun part of it. Well, I get to watch you on TV. Thank so you, I Coach. I guess I'll take that. I appreciate it. All right, appreciate All right. it. Thank you. Coach on the road. All right. All right. Coach. Uh-oh. Uh need to grab my brother Larry, too, man. Yeah, I did enjoy him there. Go pick with the guy. The coach where everybody likes that stuff. You're going to make me feel important. You keep that up, Doc. <laughs>